Mama podcast. My name is Dawn and I am your host for this knitting and crafty podcast. It is episode 29, I believe. I have to check. Pretty sure it's episode 29. I should have checked all this ahead of time. Yeah, I'm not plan. <laughs> I am not um, fully planned out for this episode. Um, yes, episode 29. Um, it is like 8.30 at night. It is Tuesday, <clears throat> uh, February 27th. And normally I don't podcast this late. And usually I don't podcast during the week. It's usually on a weekend. Um, I had plans to podcast last Sunday, but then um, I had stuff I needed to do and orders I needed to start up and the Yarn of the Month Club I needed to die, which, oh my gosh, if you guys are part of my Yarn of the Month Club, February is, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. I can't say anything about it, but oh, love it so much. And I'm sending them out tonight or tomorrow when I go before I go to work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, anyways, um, my name is Dawn. This is my podcast. It's knitting and other crafty things. And um today it's pretty much just knitting. Um yeah, so thank you for stopping by and checking it out. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are a returning Viewer, thank you so much for coming back and checking it out. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do so. Um, I get so excited every time I see a new subscriber. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I love podcasting. I wish I could be doing it every week again like I used to. But things are a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. We're still in the midst of... Um, uh, inventory at work that is on the 16th. Of March so hopefully after that's done work won't be so hectic but you know it is what it is I'm gonna try and do two weeks as much as possible sooner if I can but hopefully I can get in every two weeks and uh, show you what's going on <sighs> lots lots going on um, let me tell you where you can find me on Instagram you can find me as crafty mama underscore 73 on Ravelry, I am Crafty Mama 73. On Facebook, my Ravelry group and my Etsy shop are all Crafty Mama Designs with a Z. And if you have any questions or comments or um, you need to ask me questions that you don't want to post in those groups and threads, you can find my email at uh, thecraftymama73 at gmail.com. So you can definitely get a hold of me there if, if you need to for any other questions or concerns or anything at all um, yeah so those are where you can find me you can find all that in the drop down below I will put all that information there for you um, yeah I'm hoping this won't be too long I say that every time don't I every time <laughs> I say that every time oh my gosh oh my eyes bother me um, so yeah I work today I got home around 6, 6.30, had something to eat for supper, came upstairs, started to get things ready, had an issue. <laughs> Pardon me. And the yawning has already begun. <laughs> okay, I just totally just had Levi in my head right now with his shenanigans. Um, yeah, no, the yawning has already begun. Um, yeah, <laughs> jeez, <sighs> um, don't even remember what I was going to say, no, don't remember, <laughs> oh man, <sighs> anyways, let's see, all right, so administrative stuff, for all of those of you that have one um, prizes in the last uh, month or so I will be getting those prizes out to you very soon I promise I promise I promise things have just been a little bit crazy with work and 
life and me being sick and my Etsy shop and all kinds of stuff going on. I have not forgotten about you guys. You will be getting your yarn and stuff. I promise. I promise. It's coming. I promise. Um, speaking of administrative stuff, let's get that uh, one giveaway out of the way. Um, last podcast, I had I had uh, shown some of my self-striping yarn, my first uh, batch of self-striping yarn which I am so excited about. Oh my gosh, you should see. Oh, I just got to see what I'm working on. No, if you guys, uh, if you guys see me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I am so freaking excited. I can't even, I can't even right now. <sighs> Anyways, so I asked you to comment on my last podcast about what your favorite self-striping yarn that I just recently made was. And seriously, if this starts up, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> so anyways, I asked you to pick your favorite um, self-striping yarn that I dyed. And I was going to draw a random name from my YouTube comments. And you were going to win a ball of yarn. So I did a random draw before this because I had a feeling this episode was going to go on a little long. And the winner of that was Liz, Liz Zimmerman of the Just One End podcast. Congratulations, Liz. You had won a skein of yarn, and I do believe your favorite yarn was Egg Hunt. It's one of my favorites. Oh, my gosh. I love that yarn. So I'll be getting that out to you very soon. Seriously, maybe I just need to go to bed. <laughs> maybe it's just bedtime. No, I have too much to do today. I'm going to mail out all of my uh, Yarn of the Month Club stuff. Oh my gosh, the I want to show you guys the Yarn of the Month so badly. But I'm not going to. I'm going to be a good girl. I'm going to hold off a couple weeks. Make sure y'all get your yarn. Y'all. Where did that come from? Y'all. Uh, make sure you all get your yarn and then I'll be able to show it because, oh my gosh, those colors are amazing. It has to be that I'm talking a lot. It's making me, um, I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain because I'm talking without breathing, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> do you do that? Talk without breathing? I kind of tend to do that sometimes. What are you going to do? Anyways, other administrative stuff. We've got two knit alongs going on in the Ravelry group right now, which, like I said before, is Crafty Mama Designs on Ravelry. Uh, the link will be down below. We have got a Socks All the Time Cal going on, which is my yearly sock knit along. You guys are kicking ass. You are killing it in the Socks All the Time knit along. We already have 28 finished pairs of socks for the year. 28. You guys are rock stars, let me tell you. Amazing. And you guys are so inspiring. There are so many socks that you guys are knitting that I want to knit. I want to knit all the socks. And you guys are so inspiring. And I love looking at all your, your finished objects. They are just socktacular. <laughs> there's a new way, new name, Socktacular. Um, so keep going on that. You guys are awesome. My next podcast, I will draw a winner for a sock pattern of your choice from Ravelry. So make sure you come back next time. And uh, yeah, make sure you get your FOs into that sock thread so you have a chance to win a sock pattern. Um, The Hokey Along we have going on right now, it is all Hokey Locatelli patterns. And uh, we have, I believe, four finished objects in that one as well, which is amazing for a month and a half. You guys are awesome. So you guys got to get your Hokey Locatelli patterns in the FO thread so you guys can win some patterns, some yarn. haven't really decided what I'm going to give away first, but I think it might be. A hohi pattern. So make sure you get your finished objects in there in the next uh, month or so. I'll draw from there. 
I'm not going to draw every other month like I was last year. It's going to be random, probably about every three months or so, depending on how many people put finished objects in the threads. Um, if there's only five, then I'll probably wait until the following podcast or the following month. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So make sure you get your FOs in those threads. Okay, seriously, with the yawning, is there a yawning disease? <laughs> I might have it. I might have it. I don't know if there is such a thing. But if there is, I may have a yawning disease because I cannot stop yawning when I'm podcasting. I hardly yawn at all, all day long, hardly yawn once, twice, here, there, whatever. I start podcasting and I yawn like crazy. And you guys aren't boring me. You guys are awesome. And I want to talk to you guys, but I don't know why I'm yawning so freaking much. It drives me nuts drives me bonkers my hair was driving me nuts i didn't know what to do with it tonight so i just kind of put it in a little pony and static galore is driving me bonkers bonkers okay so those are the knit alongs going on right now in the ravelry group so make sure you're getting in there there is a chatter thread for both as well so get in there and chit chat about your patterns and your yarn choices and stuff like that or if you have any questions about the pattern you're working on maybe somebody else has already worked on it and maybe they can give you a little insight into a pattern or a yarn or if you don't know what yarn to use maybe they can give you options so get in there and chat a little bit because i'll be giving prizes from there as well um donations if you guys are makers and you want to uh, donate prizes to the podcast by all means get a hold of me let me know and i will be very happy to help support you and uh help promote your shops yeah I still have a bit of a cold so if I sniffle here and there my nose is still stuffed a bit it's driving me absolutely bonkers so that's it for all the administrative stuff Nothing fancy today, just some Diet Pepsi. Yeah, it is what it is. I will be getting back to my tea drinking though, believe me. Cause I got a lot of tea I want to drink. <laughs> um, I haven't actually been really drinking a lot of tea lately either because I've just been so busy or so tired. I work, I come home, I watch a show, I knit a little bit, I go to bed, I wake up, I go to work. I come home, I have a snack, I go to bed. That's my life. Yeah. I wish I had like a nine to five job where I could like knit all night and do stuff and have weekends off. Oh, weekends off would be amazing. Uh, speaking of weekends off, um, well, I'm not having one, but we are getting a new manager in our store, a new store manager. Um, the manager that we have now is being transferred because a new manager is being trained and our store isn't as high volume as some of the other stores in the district. So she is coming to our store. So our manager is being transferred. Yeah. We're not too happy about that. Well, we are and we aren't, you know, we don't want to see him go. But it'll be nice to have someone new, I guess, maybe. We'll see. Hopefully she's nice. That one, we have one other guy working with us, and that poor guy, he is outnumbered. It's going to be all females except for him. <laughs> that poor guy. Let me tell you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut all that right out. All right, so let's get on to the main show. I got some whips. I got not one, not two, not three. I have four whips. Four. I don't think I've ever had four going at the same time. It is funny because my mom's like, don't you have enough going on right now? And I'm like, 
She goes, how are you going to I'm like, mom, four is nothing. Four is nothing to compare to some of the, <laughs> some of the knitters out there that have 30, 40, 50 whips going on. Four is nothing. Nothing. I got that. Well, that's not counting the ones that have been sitting in, in uh, rest mode for a little while. Yeah, which is a few that I need to get back to because, yeah, I really need to knit on those. Anyways, let's get on to some whips because I am really excited to show you my first whip, which I think is my most exciting one. It is being housed in my Alice and the Queen of Hearts drawstring bag from my shop. Don't have any drawstring at the moment, but I am looking to put some more drawstring stuff in there, so keep your eye open. Anyways, the yarn I'm using is my Egg Hunt self striping yarn. That's the yarn there. Oh my god. And it is actually coming up true to color. Like, seriously true to color. Oh my gosh. Actually, the green is a little bit brighter. But the blue and the pink are spot on. Oh my gosh, they're exactly. Yeah, see that's about the green there. I kind of shield a little bit of the light. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it shows better. A little more of a limey green not so much of a paler green but anyways oh my gosh so this is my egg hunt colorway my first pair of socks well not technically my first pair I had another pair I was working on and I just I guess I wasn't feeling it because I was so gung-ho and so excited about knitting them I knit probably, I'd say about five inches or so, and then I just kind of like faded out and I just wasn't into knitting them. These, I cannot stop knitting. Seriously, I've changed up my uh, go to work project. It's now my socks. So, with that being said, now I do have um, a lifeline in my socks because I wasn't sure what heel I was going to do and I wasn't sure if I was going to like the way the heel's going so I wanted to put a lifeline in just before I started the heel that way if I don't like it then I can rip back without having to worry about ripping too much or whatever but anyways here we are my first pair I am so excited. I am so excited. This is, oh, see that green there? It's showing. Actually, the green that's on here, the stoppers, that's more like the color of green that the socks are. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Anyways, yeah, it's a little bit more that shade of green. But this is my first pair of socks. I absolutely love how they're striping up. Look at that. Look at Look at my sockets. Oh my gosh. I am so excited right now. I am so excited. I got socks. They're multiplying. <laughs> They're going to be multiplying because I cannot wait to knit my next pair of socks. I'm not even done the first sock yet. I think I might be becoming addicted to socks. Just a little bit. Anyways, I am knitting these. Let's get on to some of the details, shall we? I am knitting these on a size 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle. I'm using my Egg Hunt colorway, 
and I think the stripes are actually turning out really really well I love the way they're striping I haven't really noticed any major I haven't really noticed any major issues at all I can't believe how soft they are they are so soft last week I think it was last week I was watching uh, the girls in the yarn cafe and Tristan had bought um, some more of my yarn and she was saying how she loves my yarn for socks I love my yarn for socks too <laughs> it's so soft oh my god every time I put these on my feet I'm like oh, they're not even done and I don't want to take them off yet <laughs> they're so good I love them anyways I debated and debated and debated which heel to do I watched videos on heel flap and gusset, uh, fish lips kiss, um, a German short row, and then I came across the Flegel heel. And I was watching that video and I'm like, you know what? That seems to be the simplest heel for me for the first time knitter because basically it's you do a knit, you do an increase, and you knit the rest, you do an increase, you do a knit, you do an increase, you knit the rest, you do, and that's all there is to it for the increases. And then for the decreases, which I haven't got to yet, I have like four more rows left before I start the decreases. And I believe you just place a marker in the middle, you knit to two after the marker. I think it's a knit two together I believe I haven't really I don't remember I read it like I read it and watched it um, a couple times at the beginning but I can't remember what it was and I didn't want to keep thinking of that because I wanted to make sure I got the increases done right which the increases are doing going really really well there's my socket and right there you can see the increases right along the side here. They're going really, really well. I'm not getting any any laddering up the side of my socks, so that makes me happy. Just trying to find one here. I'm loving. Oh my gosh. I love I love my socks. I love my socks. I am so excited. I cannot wait to do the other sock and I cannot wait to start a new sock. I can kind of see where second sock syndrome comes into play because as much as I want to knit the second pair of this I really want to knit another colorway I'm only doing the solid one well the one yarn right now the heels the cuff the toe everything is going to be in the one yarn um, my next pair of socks I think I'm going to try and uh, do a different toe heel and cuff kind of deal. Try a couple different things and see what I like, right? It's the only way I'm going to know what I like the best. But I am loving these socks. I can't even get over them. I can't even get over them. They're so good. I love these socks. I love them. Can you tell? Can you tell I love them? So, yeah. I'm really excited about these and I cannot wait to get my first sock done so exciting I'm so excited so that is whip number one whip number two is an old whip I didn't really get too too much done from it it is being housed in my mrs. Brown's bag it is my hokey locatelli three color cowl I finished the turquoise um, or teal band here and I'm just about to add the next gray section so it's going to be another one of these grays on top and then it goes into the striping pattern which I'm really excited to get to but I absolutely love how this is turning out I love it look at that I love it I love it and that colors pretty much yeah it's pretty much the same it's a little bit lighter than that 
Yeah, about there maybe. Yeah. And that is my Tremendous Teal colorway and my uh, Nerves of Steel is the gray. So that's what I'm working on there. And that is on a 3, which is a 3.25 millimeter. All my needles are Chai Goo. Chow Goo, Chai Goo. People keep saying different things. So I'm just going to say Chow Goo because that's what I'm used to saying. Yeah. Um, my next whip is in my Holly Hobby bag. Oh, this one here. My daughter loved my Easter surprise yarn, and she wanted me to knit her a hat out of it. And I wasn't quite sure how it was going to end up because it's a self-striping yarn, and I wasn't sure how the stripes were going to look in a hat because they're a lot wider than a sock. Um, but I kind of actually love it. It's kind of really cool. Anyways, this is my Easter surprise. The yellow is not doing any justice here. It is a lot brighter. It's like, it's like a lemon yellow. It's like really like yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah, it's not really, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see that yellow on the top here? That's, uh, actually I think it's even a little bit brighter than that. That's my Easter surprise colorway. And here is, she wanted me to do a sock head hat. So here is sock head hat with Easter surprise yarn. It's actually not that bad. I think it's it's kind of it's striping, but in a different way. If you can see, so it looks like it's gonna go kind of like thicker green and blue on one side, and then thicker yellow and pink on the other. Which my daughter says she absolutely loves it, and I guess that's all that really matters. Um, I'm actually about to start the uh, stockinette stitches because she doesn't like the four inch because the socket hat um by kelly mcclure i believe it is socket hat kelly mcclure pretty sure it is kelly mcclure let me just check real quick i really have to update my ravelry um Yes, Kelly McClure. I have to update my Ravelry and put all my projects and stuff because it would be so much easier to check that than having to go into my library and look. <laughs> Anyways, she doesn't like the four inch um, band. She doesn't like folding it up. So I'm only going to do like a two inch band. So I'm almost ready to uh, start. Yeah, see that? I think that looks kind of cool. I think it's going to look good. We'll see what happens once the stockinette start part starts up. But um, so this is a sock head hat for my daughter with my Easter surprise colorway. And my last whip is my hat pattern that I'm working on. My own pattern. It is being housed in my Vintage Hearts project bag. It is my Valentine Kiss colorway, which I absolutely love. And um, I am knitting these on a size 6, which is a 4.0 millimeter. I'm using a 16 inch needle. This is my Valentine Kiss colorway, and it's actually, it's actually true to color right there. Exactly. Absolutely true to color right there so pretty if you like reds and pinks it's so pretty um so anyways this is my new hat pattern i haven't come up with a name yet or anything like that um i was going so well on this and i thought i'm gonna knit this hat in a week it's gonna be done i'm gonna have a whole hat in one week i'm a rock star it's happening didn't happen 
because I dyed self striping yarn and I started socks and <laughs> socks have taken over. They have taken over. Oh, how do you guys put down your socks? Seriously, because it's like all I want to do is knit on my socks. <laughs> Anyways, I do want to knit on this and I want to get this done soon because February is almost over and I want to be able to wear this a little bit this this winter. So I really need to get it done and uh, get the pattern written up and get to some test knitters. Which, speaking of test knitters, my shawl pattern is all written up. I'm just going over it. Um, do you need tech editors for a pattern? Because I have no idea how to get a tech editor. <laughs> um, I am going to send it out to a few test knitters and they can let me know if there's anything wrong. But as far as like describing it and stuff like that, it's very simple and easy, straightforward. Let me know if you've ever written a pattern. Do you get tech editors and is there a need for them? And how do you pay them? Do you pay them or do they do it? for a free pattern or I have absolutely no idea. Just throwing that out there if any of you pattern makers want to give me a little inside scoop. You don't have to do it in the comments below. You can message me on Ravelry or Instagram. Greatly would appreciate it. Anyways, I am going to contact um, my test knitters this week and hopefully get the pattern out. Anyways, this is my hat pattern. And I am loving it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm loving it. It's kind of hard to see the exact pattern with this variegated yarn. But uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I want to do another one in more of a solid or a very light variegated just to see the difference. Oh, there you can kind of see a bit of a pattern going on now. I turn it around a little bit. Whoop! Turn around a little bit, not fling it. Wow, that blew it out completely. But yeah. So, anyways, that's my hat pattern. Let's see if I can put it on. <laughs> Just don't jab myself in the eyes, you know. It's kind of hard to put a hat on when you've got 16 inch circulars. Yeah, so I still got quite a bit to go. But that is my hat pattern. Yeah, it's like not even. Fits good though. It's a good fit. But, anyways, <laughs> and not a good look. My beanie hat. Anyway, so that is my hat pattern. And I love it. I love it. And this is, um, like I said, my Valentine Kiss colorway. This is a DK weight. So it's going to be a DK weight hat pattern. Hopefully I will get this pattern, um, this done in the next couple weeks and the pattern written up and uh, get some test knitters for this as well. So if you're interested in it, interested in knitting this hat as a test knit for me let me know and uh yeah so that is that i'm so excited so excited for my hat pattern so yeah i probably have i would say probably because i want to be a little slouchy so i'm thinking maybe another three or four inches we'll see how that goes um so those are my whips I had four whips. Can you believe it? Four whips. I'm so excited. Um, I actually want to cast on a lot more things right now, but I'm trying to be good and hold off and try and get at least one of these projects done before I cast on my next two. I think I might do that. Finish one, cast on two. <laughs> Finish one, cast on two. Sounds like a plan, right? Why not? Um, I have no FOs. Maybe next next time I'll have a FO. Maybe my hat will be finished and I'll have an FO next podcast. Um, what's next? 
Next, 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 next. Uh, I guess I can go into acquisitions. Um, I don't really have a lot of acquisitions this week. I didn't really buy anything much. Um, let's just get on with it. Those of you that follow me on Instagram have already seen these guys, but I wanted to show you on here as well. The last time, I think I went out just before, I think I podcasted just before we went out about these. Anyways, I had to pick up some pops. We were uh, at Lime Ridge Mall shopping the one day, and I saw this one. I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. And then I saw one of the ones that go with it. And then I saw another one that goes with it. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. I think there was seven or eight. I could not buy all of them. <laughs> as much as I wanted to. Oh my god, I wanted to. I couldn't I couldn't uh, fathom buying that many pops at once. So I bought three. Three of my favorites. Um, first... This is one of one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, Snow White. Oh my God, look at her, She's so cute. I should have probably taken them out of the box, huh? I don't want to take her out of the box. Now I guess I'll take them out of the box. Give me one moment. Okay, so they've all been deboxed. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. It's Snow White. She's got the little bird. It's so cute. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. This one, not so cute. I mean, they even got the wart on her nose. The little skull. I think it's supposed to be the poison apple, but it's got a skull. Don't focus on me. How can I see? Yeah. Anyways, the witch with her one tooth. <laughs> and oh my gosh, this guy is so freaking cute. I can't even. He is adorable. Dopey. He's so cute. He has his hands behind his back. Oh my god, that's adorable. His ears. Oh my gosh, his ears are so cute. So that was my uh, pop acquisition. <laughs> I had to. I had to. I'm just gonna put this guy's on there. And I went to my local yarn shop because I needed to get some 16-inch needles. And I wanted to get another one, which I forgot. So I got a size 4 16 inch, a size 6 16 inch. And those I used for my hat. And I meant to get a size 3 for the sock head hat. But I forgot. So I'm knitting the sock head hat, by the way, I forgot to tell you, on the 4 inch. Because I am kind of a tight knitter. So we'll see. We'll see. She, she liked it a little. She wanted a little bit looser than the one I did last time. So hopefully it'll work out. Um, while I was there, I also purchased this here. Well, I've got a hair attached to it. Um, which is really cute. It's unscrewable. It's by Clover. And it is... Oh, I just dropped one. It is a darning needle, a darning needle case, which is a great investment. I'm always losing my darning needles. It's trying to weave in the ends. I'm like, where the hell is my needle? I can't find my needle. Now I've got somewhere to put it. And it actually has a little hole. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a little hole there. So you can actually like string it onto something or clip it. 
It's a great idea. So I got those. I also got these from Clover because I do want to learn how to cable. It's a three pack of cable needles, three different thicknesses. Um, it doesn't say, it doesn't say the size. It doesn't say the size of the cable needles. One looks like it might be a three millimeter, a six and an eight, possibly. Wild guess. <laughs> I don't know where my darning needle went. It fell. I will have to get my daughter to come and look because she can see better than I can. <laughs> and then I was there and I had to get this as well. Because my daughter stole my last one. I bought a knit club pin. And my daughter stole it for her backpack. So I decided to get the skein of yarn instead. So I got that. I have nowhere to put these, but I wanted to buy them anyway. I may have to make myself a bag and put all my, my needles on them. Or on my pins, I should say. So those are those acquisitions. And I am wearing another one of my acquisitions. Um, yeah, I love this t-shirt. I had to get it. Chocolate understands. <laughs> it does. Chocolate understands. And I also got, um, sheep PJs, which I can't show you, but I'll show a picture of, uh, what I put on Instagram of my sheep PJs here. My God, I love these PJs. They're so cute and they're so comfy. Um, so those were my only acquisitions. Um, let's see. So that was my FOs. That was administrative. That was acquisitions. I think that's about it. Um, as far as the nitty stuff don't really have any shop news um besides my easter um stri self striping yarn that i showed last podcast pretty much the same stuff i haven't put anything new in the shop yet i am hoping to do so in the next week or so i want to get all my orders done first though before i put anything else in the shop um so let's just get on to a little bit of chit chat shall we first when i'm watching podcast wise I'm actually watching two new podcasts. One is called uh, Salapalooza Knits, or Salap yeah, Salapalooza Knits, I believe it's a podcast, and it is with Elizabeth. There's another Elizabeth Knitter, <laughs> podcaster, I should say. So I think that's three now that I watch with the name Elizabeth. Yeah. So she's fairly new. I think she has 11 episodes out. I haven't had a chance to watch all 11 but I'm getting up there. I'm catching up. Um, she's really, really sweet. And her knitting is gorgeous. And she's just so kind. She's just so sweet. You just, you have to check her out. So that's Elizabeth. It's the Salapalooza Knits podcast. And a new one that just started this week is called Knits and Pieces. And it is with um, Noelle and her daughter Jacqueline and they are fellow Canadians they're friends with Dawn and uh, Lisa from the codependent knitters podcast um, Noelle is a knitting machine she's in my Ravelry group and I just I'm I'm blown away of the amount that she knits up I don't understand <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know how you can knit that fast. And some of the items that she knits, stunning, stunning. So anyways, you need to check out those two podcasts. Like I said, Noelle and Jacqueline is the Knits in Pieces, and it's a brand new podcast. They've only had one episode, but you got to check them out because they are a really sweet mother-daughter duo. And um, I haven't watched 
all of their first episode yet, but I had to had to talk about them anyways because they're new and I love supporting new podcasts. So check them out. Check out Salapalooza. She is awesome. They're all awesome. Um, and of course, I watch my regulars um, as well as a couple fairly new ones like Sissy Knits. I watch her. Um, so anyways, my hand hit the space bar and turned off the video. <laughs> Bad girl. Um, I was about to say goodbye. So hopefully you guys had a great time with me today. I hope y'all had fun and, um, get them in the Ravelry group with your, uh, FOs, your finished socks and your Hohi Locatelli knits. Get in there. Show me what you're working on in the chatter thread. I would love to see what you guys are working on. If there is another knit along you guys would be interested in, which I want to do another one. I just haven't decided what just yet. Give me a message down below in the comments. Let me know what kind of knit alongs you guys would be interested in. And uh, maybe we can work something out. And if you're a fellow knitter and you want to co-host a knit along, by all means, get in touch with me and we can chit chat and uh, maybe come up with something really juicy. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram uh, for all your up-to-date stuff going on with me. I do want to do a giveaway when I hit 750, but I can't seem to stick at 750. I get to like 751 or 52, and then the next day I'm at like 48, and then I'm at 50, then I'm at 48, then I'm at 51, then I'm at 47. I don't understand the point of following somebody if you're just going to unfollow them the next day. It drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So hopefully I will be back in two weeks, possibly a little sooner, depending on how fast I can get all these orders that I have wrapped up and shipped out because I want to kind of concentrate on those when I have some time off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. You had a great time. And until next time, keep on crafting. Bye.